These are the 20 worst haircuts in NHL history. How can I start the list without mentioning Pierre Maguire? That's hilarious. Come to think of it, there was a time when he had hair. I mean, a full head of hair. But today, his lack of hair is one of the well-recognized bald heads in all of the NHL broadcasting world. But this cannot be compared to this guy in number 19. What is this? Take a look. What in the Russian mullet is going on here? There are many variations of the Russian mullet hairstyle in NHL, but Andre Kostetsin has to be the worst. Share with any of your friends whose hairstyle looks like any of the hairstyles listed. <laughs> Let's get the comment section interesting. I guess you are not ready for Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> I mean, what kind of hair is Ken Hitchcock wearing? Well, not much of a hairstyle, but more of a funny face. It looks almost like a toupee. Well, it is not a match for this guy in number 17. This pumpkin haircut has got everyone talking. Pavel Datsuk's hairstyle has to be the most hilarious. Look at this guy. <laughs> Have you heard of the mop top hairstyle before? This hairstyle is a bit of a hybrid between the Datsuk and Kostitsin. The party back gives it that mullet feel, while the bangs make it look like he's five years old and getting his first haircut at the barber shop. But it is not as bad as number 15. Take a look at it. Mikkel Hansus's hair has to be on the list, trust me. This hairstyle is probably the most high maintenance haircut of all 20 listed here. I bet when he showers, he soaks up all the excess water that's left over, like a sham wow. <laughs> This guy at number 14 is trying to look sleek, but it was a huge fail. Chris Pronger here adopts the slicked back Italian gangster hairstyle, mixed with a greasy, sweaty, long haired back of the head, along with quite possibly one of the creepiest grins I've ever seen. Having that gap between his teeth doesn't help either. A man of many ugly hairstyles. I will call this hairstyle the not so fabulous Fabio. This was probably the worst of all Daniel Alfredson haircuts I could find. Why he's got a ponytail is beyond me, but take a look at number 12, Chris Simon, easily one of my childhood nightmare stars. The long hair he grew out because he heard Metallica was looking for a new bassist, grew out long and full. Too bad he's swinging his stick with the Moscow Dynamo these days. Number 11 is probably my favorite hairstyle when this player had it. Scott Hartnell ranks 11th on this list. This kind of hairdo would make me look ridiculous, yet Hartnell looks well with it. Hartnell plays in Philadelphia, home of the AFL's soul. Thus, unlike other ginger kids, I believe he could have a soul. Coming at number 10 is Carrie Fraser. Call it the Carrie Fraser. I honestly can't think of a term for this hairdo. It's a mystery to us all how he was able to remain still and maintain his head of hair perfectly quaffed while officiating hockey. Fraser is still regarded as one of the most disliked referees in Leafs history because of his missed calls. That is really a long-term hatred there. But what do you think about this guy in number nine with his Bob Pinciotti hairstyle, man? What kind of hair is this? Ron DeGay has always been a little bit weird. He constantly takes pictures as if they were going to be in the history books. In the first season of the Eastern Professional Hockey League in 2009, Duguay, the second oldest man to have ever played professional hockey, participated in two games with the Jersey Rockhoppers and Brooklyn Aces. He reminds me of that 70s show's Bob Pinciotti. This guy at number eight has to be the winner of this weird hairstyle countdown. I mean, what is this? Just take a look at Brian McCabe. Although there are several variations of the Mohawk haircut in the NHL these days, none quite match the hue that this defenseman for the Maple Leafs chose to wear during the team's most recent postseason run. I suppose Marge Simpson would look somewhat like this if he was a man with a Mohawk. This guy with the afro at number seven is really nice, but I don't think many people will agree to that. The beard and Mike Commodore give this hairstyle a really Ronald McDonald vibe. I'm really believed he didn't apply a white face paint job because otherwise I would have thought the Hurricanes had their home games at the Golden Arches. At number six, we have the Jesus Christ Superstar hairstyle. It's good that Smith plays his games in Hollywood. I hear he's the lead candidate to land the role of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ Superstar 2011. Personally, I never knew Ryan could sing. <laughs> Jokes aside, 
This hairstyle is the best definition of hockey hair one could find in the NHL. But it's nothing compared to Barry Melrose hairstyle at number 5. Melrose's haircut, which combines a lot of different haircuts into one, is likely among the worst coaching hairstyles in NHL history. If he could fit it in a ponytail, the oil slick, mullet, a hint of Kirk Hammett, and perhaps even a little of Fabio would be evident. The fact that he seems gray in this picture, which to me says, I just got divorced, I'm going back on the prowl, where's Emmett Smith, is what qualifies it as a midlife crisis. But really, a horrible hairstyle. Down at number four, we have the Redneck Diaries hairstyle, almost exactly the same as Barry Melrose. Patrick Kane's playoff haircut is the worst hockey hairdo of the 21st century. The racing stripes he places just above his sideburns give him a very redneck-like appearance, which makes it worse than Melrose's. I'm just giving him an additional stick for having such a horrible hairdo. I've heard that he wears the number 88 in honor of Dale Earnhardt Jr., but that's not true, but his hairstyle cannot be compared to Wayne Gretzky's Joe Dirt hairstyle at number 3. Wayne comes in at number 3 because, to be honest, even if his hairdo is awful, it is nothing compared to the the previous two. In Edmonton, you could get away with having a hairdo like this, but once he was traded by the Oilers, a sleeker, more Hollywood-friendly haircut quickly replaced it. Have you seen Yaramir Yager with his checkmate hairstyle in number two? Yaramir Yager is the athlete who, in my opinion, had the mullet for the longest duration of time. He is also the second worst haircut in NHL history. Yager's mullet quickly followed Mario's retirement. Haha. <laughs> Sadly, though, his career took a turn for the worst once he lost the locks. He had hair, who would have thought? Finally, at number one, we have the skullet hairstyle. What kind of hair Al I. Frady has on? I'm at a loss for words in response to this. I've never seen a worse hairdo than this one. This hairstyle is very strange and eerie because of the mix of long hair in the back and no hair on top. I'm relieved that I, Frady no longer has this hairdo. I truly don't know why he has that comb over on top of his head. Perhaps his wife was attracted to comb overs or guys with long hair, so she had the best of all worlds.